my history is that I've, I've had a lot of um, jaw pain and um, head and neck pain and back pain. And I also have a history of uh, spasmodic torticollis or cervical dystonia, um, which causes lots of uh, pain in my neck and back and, and uh, shoulders. And I um, have recently had a lot of a lot of jaw pain uh, in the TMJs, and I've, I've had I had some uh, surgery on my TMJs uh, about 23 years ago, uh, and. Um, had the, the uh, um, cartilages put back on the condyles and the, uh, the uh, scar tissue taken out of the, uh, the joints and things improved at that point but they've gotten steadily worse ever since. So um, uh, recently since I've started using this appliance uh, Things have improved. My uh, neck pain at night is not so bad. Um, it's improved quite a bit so that I can sleep better. Um, I'm having a reduction in the pain during the day, uh, a small amount, and we're still adjusting the appliance, so we're just in the first stages of that. Um, and so um, uh, I've seen a lot of changes in um, my. Uh, my pain, my uh, the muscle spasms, and the um, uh, the crepitus in the joints, the, the noises in my jaw joints, and uh, have lessened, and the the, the muscles, uh, the masseters have, have gotten a little bit better in terms of uh, being sore all the time. My ears are improving um, in terms of my hearing has seems to have improved. My vision has been changing, um, and so it's it's a work in progress. Uh, and we're making adjustments today that are are uh, hopefully going to keep things rolling in the right direction. How long have you worn your appliance or the mouthpiece now? Uh, it's six weeks. Okay, and since then this is our first follow-up visit. This is our first follow-up visit. Thank you. I live out of town. I just gave you a hand dynamometer. Just press the start button and just let it set. Oops. Okay, whenever you're ready. What do we have there? 48. What was it with the mouthpiece? 53. Okay, now try your left hand too. Okay. What do we have? 44. Other one was 48? 44. Okay, now go ahead and put that one in. Tap, 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 tap. Fifty six point four. Fifty six. It went up from forty eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so eight points. Okay. And let's see this one. Oh what did you get there? Fifty six point two. And that was at forty four. All right. 44. <laughs> Good. Okay. Uh, since last, since then, uh, some things have improved a little bit, uh, and some other things have stayed about the same. Some things I've, I've seen a few um, torticollis uh, increases and then decreases, so they kind of fluctuate. At this point, they're not, they're not really. They're trying to, I guess, find an equilibrium. Um, and we noticed today that when I take the mouthpiece out, my head goes to the left, which is the t typical torticollis position for me. Um, and when we put it back in, the muscles kind of relax and it goes back in the midline. Um, so that's been a real uh, 
a real improvement and um, and that some of the, the clicking noises too have, have decreased and um, the jaw pain has decreased. So we're making progress and it seems like we're, um, especially since we can see that, that when we take the math piece out, the torticollis returns and when we put it back in, it, go, it goes back to midline where it should be. Okay. Can you do me a favor and take out that mouthpiece for me? Okay. Wow, <laughs> that was a real example of wasn't it? Uh, it really pulled over to the left. Okay, yeah. go ahead and put it in. Whoa, <laughs> it's just like my body just goes back to midline. Okay, let's do it one more time. I just want to see it again. Okay, now put the mouthpiece in. It's back to, back to midline again. Alright. It's amazing. <laughs> Good, thank Good you. <laughs>